Welcome back to the Panasonic Milrose Games. Next up, the Masters Mile. The world indoor record is 4.18.25. The Milrose Games record is 4.20 flat. But right now, let's go back in time. The man in black, Peter Snell of New Zealand. The Tokyo Olympics of 1964. He wins his second gold medal at 800 meters. And then he went on to double with still another gold at 1,500. At the Munich Olympics in 1972, Jim Ryan, in a heat of the 1,500 meters and about 900 meters into the race, goes down in what has become the most publicized fall in track history. And as he went down at the back of the pack, with it went his hopes of a gold medal. And then in the marathon of that same year, Frank Shorter, an imposter, was on the track. But Frank Shorter of the United States took the gold, the first American gold in the marathon in 64 years since Johnny Hayes did it in 1908. now for the running of the Masters Mile and joining me in the broadcast booth Eamon Coggle. Charlie I believe that this may be the showpiece of the Milrose Games this year. Webb Laudat, Frank Shorter, Albin Swinson, Barry Brown, Jim Ryan, Harry Nolan, Mike Manley and Peter Snell. 11 laps. And as they start I must confess that Frank Shorter has been nervous all day long. The one thing Frank's been concerned about coming into this race is the early pace. Frank, remember, is a marathoner, 10K runner, and dropping down to the mile, his main concern is fast 60-second second quarters. Harry Nolan takes it out. He has the early lead. Alvin Swinson is running second. Webb Laudat is running third, and Jim Ryan is currently fourth. Well, Harry Nolan, he's one of the local favorites here in New York. He's reportedly run a two-minute half mile, and I think the main problem here is that maybe he's putting that half mile speed into the early part of the race instead of saving it for the latter part. Nine laps to go. Jim Ryan continues to run fourth, and Frank Shorter is running fifth. Peter Snell, meanwhile, is trailing the group. With the legends of Snell, Ryan, and Shorter, who ever dreamt that 15 years ago that you'd have Alvin Swenson, Webb Laudat, and Hardy Nolan being the favorites over these great names? And with eight laps to go, Jim Ryan continues to run fourth, and Frank Shorter is currently fifth. Meanwhile, Harry Nolan stretches out the lead over Swinson and Laudat. Who would be the co-favorite? Actually, it'd be Swinson the favorite. Laudat would be the second favorite. Well, Swenson and Laudat, they're used to running competitive miles all the time. Somebody like Frank Shorter, he's got to move down to the mile. He's got to go back 15 years in his preparation, remember, to get ready for the mile. The last time Frank was running an indoor mile was when he was at Yale 19 years ago. When I was talking to Frank today about the length of the mile, David, you might enjoy this. He said, it will go by so quickly, I won't know what even to think about. That's right. Well, Frank said he's going to have a lot of fun out here, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's staying back off the pace. He realizes that it's a fast, early pace. And in order to continue a pace like this, you've got to be in super shape, especially when you're in your 40s. And we're right at the halfway mark of the Masters Mile. Now this is Barty Brown moving up into second place. Barty is making an effort here to go by Hardy Nolan. Barty is a steeplechaser. He's got tremendous credentials over the distance, but coming to the mile, if he's got any chance of winning, he's got to try and take the lead, but he can't do it right now. Meanwhile, Jim Ryan has dropped back. Frank Shorter is trailing the lead pack. He is currently in fifth place. Well, coming into third place now, and there's Barty Brown going into the lead. But in third place, you've got Alvin Swenson. He's the world record holder indoors, and it was a bit of an error there. Hardy Dolan's awkward style coming off the turn nearly cost Swenson to go down. Four laps to go, and Frank Shorter stays in fifth place. Barry Brown is in first. Webb Laudat moves outside. Down the back straight, and he takes the lead from him. Swinson is in third, but still challenging. Fourth is Harry Nolan. No, Frank Shorter has moved up to fourth, passing Harry Nolan. And here's Alvin Swenson moving into second place. This is a very, very good run for Alvin. He's running a perfectly tactical race, but it's very important for him now to stick right on the heels of Laudat. So it is Webb Laudat 
with Alvin Swenson running second. And third, it is Barry Brown. Frank Shorter now has lost contact with the leader with two laps to go. Two to go in the Masters Mile. Well, Swenson has tried to make a move there to get by Lauda. He's not able to do it. It's very important indoors that you have fast, accelerating speed on these very, very short straightaways. And this is the problem that Swenson is finding himself with trying to get by Lauda. Webb Lauda with the lead as Alvin Swenson challenges him. He holds him off as we come to the gun lap. Barry Brown is third and Frank Shorter is fourth. Well, Lauda is really holding Swenson off quite well. He moves wide on the turn to prevent him from going by. Shorter is closing on Brown as Swenson drops back. It is Webb Lauda, then Swenson, and here comes Frank Shorter off the final turn as he challenges for third. It is Lauda, Swenson, and then Frank Shorter does it. He finishes third, just edging out Barry Brown. Way to go, Frank. And the smile tells it all. And now let's go.